This is our second day of multiplying polynomials. If you watched the video yesterday, you saw that um, you could just, they used something called the FOIL method where you did your front, outer, inner, last. That method doesn't work if you have a bigger polynomial. In this case, I have a binomial, two terms, times a trinomial, three terms. And so the FOIL doesn't work. I've got more terms than set up for that. So there are a couple different options to multiply these. And one option that I think works really well is to do the box method. And what I do is I will create a box that has the same um, sort of like length and height or height and width, meaning I have two by 3, so I'll create a box that has 2 by 3 boxes inside of it. And so the 2, this will be 4, M, and 3, and then the 3 part, this would be M squared, negative 3m and 7. Remember when you learned that yesterday that that minus gets treated like a negative. And what I'm going to do is I just multiply um, the base and the height, almost like finding the area. So I would do 4m times m squared. That would give me 4m cubed. And then 4m times negative 3m, that's negative 12 m squared, and then 4m times 7, 28m, Then I'll go down in the, the next row and do the same thing, 3 times m squared, 3 times negative 3m, and 3 times 7. Now I want to look diagonally down. If you notice, I'll do some highlighter on this. These two are like terms. And if I grab another highlighter in a different color, diagonally, these two are like terms as well. And so my final answer will list in simplified form, the first 4m cubed. Then I'll combine these two, minus 9m squared. I'll combine the next two. That's plus 19m, 28 minus 9. And then the last one is 21. So there is my final answer on that. Now you don't have to use the box method, I just think it's kind of a nice way to do it. And I'm going to do that again for this one, uh, especially if you have more or bigger polynomials. So again, I'm going to do 2 by 3, and in fact all the rest of yours are going to be 2 by 3. So I'll make my 2 by 3 box. And I have 8r and negative 7 down the 2 side. Then I have 7r squared minus 7r and 6. And again, I'm just going to go through and multiply. 56r cubed minus 56r squared, 48r minus 49r squared, plus 49r and minus 42. And again, I'm going to look diagonal. I've got like terms and like terms. And then I will do 56r cubed. Combine those. Ooh, that's going to be a big one. Minus I believe it's 105r squared, another big one here, minus, no, plus, sorry, 97r minus 42 would stand alone, and that would be my final answer on that one. All right, so your job now, I'm going to have you pause the video. I want you to do the last four 
problems and jot down the answer that you get the last four problems pause the video jot down the answer you're going to probably want some paper handy um, jot down your answers and then you'll enter your answers below um, on the screen I want to clear that up a little bit okay so figure out your answers figure out which one it is a b c or d and then write jot down your answers uh, and then you'll enter it below alright good luck if you have any questions please just let me know